Hello, welcome back to my tea time. Shally here, let's get into it. A hard pill to swallow for myself and probably many others is the only person that you can truly save is yourself. The only person that you can help to the point of really changing them, fully changing them, is yourself. You are not in control of how other people dictate their lives, how they make changes in their lives. You know, you can influence someone or inspire someone, but you can really only change and save yourself. I know there's so many empathetic people out there who want to help others, save the world, just do all the goodness they can to help people feel happier, healthier, whatnot, but you can't always do that. And you certainly shouldn't put all of your energy into doing that. There's a lot of people who don't even want help. They don't wanna be saved. They don't think there's anything wrong with them. They don't think there's anything they need to improve. And trying to save and help those kinds of people, especially, is going to drain and deplete your energy, leave you emotionally drained and just physically exhausted. I personally learned that the hard way when I was on my healing journey. I've always kind of been like that, just a very helpful person, wanting to help others out, wanting people to feel their best and what not because sometimes when you're looking from the outside in on someone's situation you can see things that they can't see you just want to give them that nudge and help them to reach their potential to feel better but to be honest the reason of you wanting to do that is a lot deeper than you might think i came across this passage one day that really hit home it's for protectors or the helping type of people you are always putting others before yourself you don't pay much attention to your own feelings because deep down, you don't believe that your feelings or needs matter and you project your own need for healing onto others. You keep attracting people into your path who need healing and may even sometimes feel underappreciated because you always put others before yourself, which positions you as the victim. They are actually a mirror of what you still need to heal, but you don't see that. It is time to pay attention to your own needs and emotions. It's time to face yourself. So when you are the type of person that really loves to save people, the helper, the protector, a lot of the times, the reason we do that is because it's a lot easier, seems like it's a lot easier and less painful to focus on other people's problems and issues than to focus on our own because everyone's a mirror and the people that you attract in your life are literally mirroring what is going on internal inside of you, mirroring things that you need to fix within yourself. It's great when we figure out a new method of healing we perfected journaling or meditating or we found a new subliminal or we've been listening to a certain therapist online and we found these new methods and they've been helping us a lot and it's been helping us to progress and feel better along our path and it's normal to want to share that with somebody it's normal to want to tell somebody about the great things you're experiencing because when you don't you feel like oh i'm gatekeeping i'm holding back this amazing information that would so help my friend or my sister or whoever. But if they're not ready to receive it, if they're not ready to face the fact of what you're trying to help them heal, they're not gonna receive it. They're not gonna take it in. It's gonna go in one ear, out the other, and they might even get frustrated with you. They might get upset with you. They might even want to push you away because they feel like you are talking down on them. Or we, even though you're coming from such a good place, and you just want them to feel good and feel better. It's truly best to just take what you've learned and what you're doing and just fully apply that to yourself. Fully apply that to your life. Like I said, the person that you deep down really wanna save is yourself. The person that you really need to love more is yourself. So take all those practices, take all those methods and just fully apply it to yourself. Be the example. That's honestly the best way that you can be for your loved ones. It's just the, to be the example. Because if someone's not ready, they're not ready. And when they are ready and you're sitting there and you're being an example of what they wish to embody, of the type of person they wish to embody, the mindset, whatnot, they already have a perfect example of that in front of their face. And then they will come to you and they will ask you. Instead of you feeling like you're forcing them and pushing your ideologies and your methods onto them, it'll be such a reciprocated situation and there'll be a lot more progress made that way. So be the example, keep working on yourself, keep loving yourself, you're doing great, just keep going. And eventually all that work you're doing and you wanna spread and help to people, there will be people who will want to receive that. You know, you could start a social media page where you share these things and there will be tons of people who wanna receive that. But only give to those who want to receive, but before you do that, give it all to yourself. That's all I have for today. 
I hope this resonated with you. I hope if this is something that you're going with, I kind of gave you some clarity on it because it really can be a hard pill to swallow when you're an empathetic person and you just want to help the world. You want to help your loved ones. I totally understand. If you love this, if you if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment. Let me know other ways and other things that you do to maybe deal with this whole savior complex issue. I would love to know. I hope you have a beautiful day. And as always, stay healthy, happy, and hydrated. Bye.